Hello, my name's Rory. Uh, I'm the Managing Director of Wonder Experience Limited and we've launched the new Wild Atlantic One Design 33 foot ocean offshore racing and cruising event. Well, it has three unique aspects. Uh, the key aspect, first of all, is that it's entirely energy self-regenerating. It has a silent electric motor and batteries that enable it to be completely silent. Secondly, it has a two meter fully retracting keel, so it enables people to sail safely in shallow waters. And thirdly, it's transportable anywhere. You can sail this boat on the south coast of England with us on the west coast of Ireland or in Scotland or on the continent and bring it yourself and sail the places you've always wanted to sail. It's 2015. We all care about the environment. We don't like polluting diesel and gas on our boats that make it unsafe and unreliable. So we're able to exploit the technologies from solar, from wind, from water regeneration to uh, use third generation batteries like in the Tesla car to provide a completely energy sustainable boat. Well, because we've got energy in the boat and it's electric, it means we can have a kitchen like one from John Lewis, a full domestic kitchen. It means we can have a bathroom with a proper shower, a domestic toilet with electrical um, a removal of the biological waste. And it means it's very comfortable, it's not dark, damp camping. People that like sailing are gonna buy this boat. Uh, not flat out racers, not people that have slow and heavy cruisers, but people who like to both race and cruise with their friends in, in nice places to sail that aren't stuck 20 miles from their home port. The boat's 33 feet overall, 9.98 meters, just under 10. It sleeps six with two in a private four cabin, two in the main cabin with the nice domestic features, and two in the master cabin at the back with a, with a hanging uh, cloakroom uh, with full light and a padded backrest, full standing height. Uh, this is the world's first corrosion-free aluminium alloy trailer. It has aluminium axles and it's really stable on three axles so it can be towed behind a Land Rover. It means that it's corrosion free, it never rusts. You can launch the boat from it, recover the boat from it yourself without requiring a crane or a boat yard. It means you can bring your boat to the Scottish Maltz Cruise, to the Cork Week, to Dartmouth Regatta and the Hamble and still have an RCD category ocean racing and cruising boat. The hull's made out of epoxy structural foam with a glass fibre coating, which means it's incredibly strong, about twice as strong as conventional glass fibre, but a lot lighter. It means that the hull has terrific heat insulation, so no condensation on the inside. And most importantly, even if it's whole, cut in two, it still floats. This boat floats full of water. The turbuckle rudders we have are designed to stop the rudder stalling at high speed, like they do on racing catamarans. It means that you can have a smaller, lighter rudder, but complete control on a really big sea in a heavy wind when most boats, particularly in Cow's Week, decide to go walkabout. The turbicles are based on the front edge and fins of breaching whales. If you look at their fins and those of turtles, they have turbicles, the effects of protrusions, that make sure the flow over the rudder stays laminar and the rudder doesn't cavitate or cause you to broach. We've been able to include in the hull some extra runners that allow the boat to stay much safer downwind in a blow, like extra skis if you like. But it also means the boat can sit flat on the ground. It, although it floats in 18 inches of water, it can actually sit flat on the sand and the shingle, fully protected with steel plates, and it means you can go for a picnic. It costs about £150,000, but its running costs are about a third of a normal yacht. Uh, the fuel is uh, free and unlimited. Uh, it floats in 16 inches of water so you don't have to pay for an expensive mooring and in the winter we can look after it for you, store it in our workshop and you get it back in March with, with milk in the fridge.